Hi everyone, this is Bruno Rodriguez, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in San Diego, and I'll be bringing you the latest weekly weather briefing. So what are we looking at over the next week or so weather-wise? Well, for starters, another round of strong, locally damaging winds over portions of the mountains and the deserts through Tuesday morning. Those winds are also going to affect the coastal waters through Wednesday, along with some high seas, so look for hazardous boating conditions there. Don't be surprised to see a couple of stray showers uh, Monday night into early Tuesday morning, especially if you're in San Diego County. We're looking at really light stuff, so probably only a few hundredths of an inch or so for coastal and valley areas, and maybe around a tenth to two tenths of an inch for the San Diego County mountains, with the possibility of a few sprinkles extending northward into the Riverside and San Bernardino County mountains with little to no accumulation. As for temperature, definitely going to be looking at a warming trend as we head into the weekend with temperatures returning to above normal values. But aside from the stray showers Monday night, we're not looking at any uh, precipitation through uh, the next seven days. Diving into a little more detail with these winds, this is a graphic showing you the forecast maximum wind gusts through Tuesday morning. You can see exactly where those strong winds are going to be concentrated, primarily for the high desert, especially eastern areas, east of Lucerne Valley, down south through uh, the San Gorgonio Pass into the Coachella Valley and southward into eastern San Diego County. You're going to be looking at gusts between 45 and 65 miles per hour with a few isolated wind prone locations gusting closer to 75 miles an hour. Like I mentioned before, Coastal waters will also get in on the action with gusts between 25 to 30 knots at times through Wednesday, as well as high seas that could exceed 10 feet in spots. Because of these strong winds, we've gone ahead and upgraded to a high wind warning, which is going to be in effect for these areas through Tuesday morning. And in terms of impacts, we're looking at really similar impacts to our recent system uh, that affected us on Saturday. So we could be looking at some tree damage or some downed trees locally, as well as areas of blowing dust in the desert. So if you are planning on driving in the deserts, be prepared for sudden and severe reductions in visibility, even as low as a quarter mile in some cases. And if you are towing a trailer or driving a caravan or truck, definitely be cautious if you're planning on traveling through one of those mountain passes because winds are going to be dangerous for high profile vehicles. So how about the temperatures? Like I said, warming trend is definitely going to take hold over the next few days. Uh, there may be a bit of a blip late week and on Saturday as temperatures fall a few degrees, but overall looking at a fairly steady warming trend through the weekend, returning to temperatures which will run between 5 and 10 degrees warmer than average for this time of year. For example, Coachella Valley could get into the low 80s by the weekend with the coast and valleys heading uh, well into the 70s. So I do want to talk a little bit about the precipitation. Uh, on the left here, you see the latest drought monitor uh, released a few days ago. Overall, that atmospheric river uh, from late January it certainly helped the situation across much of California, lifting much of the central coast off of uh, drought status. Down here in Southern California, except for the deserts, we're not in a drought. We're still classified as being abnormally dry. Only the deserts are currently classified um, as being under drought conditions. But the outlook isn't looking too good through the end of the month. Uh, we're looking at dry weather prevailing um, through pretty much late February. There are some indications of a possible pattern change for the last couple of days of the month. Uh, but that can definitely change. This is still pretty far out, and it's unlikely to be significant enough uh, for us to actually end up above normal in terms of precipitation for February. So overall, we're still pretty confident that we're going to end the month of February with below normal precipitation and therefore contribute further to our seasonal precipitation deficit. That's all I have, so enjoy your week.